Hi everyone, my name is Rosalina and today I'm going to be talking about makeup and makeup tools in order to do a more beautiful makeup. So the very first thing and the most important thing is your lighting. So make sure your bathroom or your bedroom, wherever you do your makeup, has good lighting, has a probably natural source so that would be ideal but if failing that nice soft lighting around your face that doesn't create any shadows and is not harsh so it doesn't show things that you don't want to see so and because you're going to have an, um, a mirror that's magnified and is like five or ten times bigger than you want to see you don't want any harsh lighting in there but this mirror is essential with that you can do a really good makeup blend all your um, your shadows blend your foundation do a nicely liner and you can see it you know 10 times bigger and uh, by the time you finish you're going to be pleased when you look at a normal mirror so this is an essential tool and I recommend for everyone um, you know that has some um, that is around my age has some my side problem to get a magnifying mirror you can get the ones that stand like this particular one and make sure it is kind of eye level or you can get the ones you can install on a wall they already have they already come with um, light in them they have a natural light and they've got a, an evening light so you can switch lights depending what uh, you're doing so I would recommend either or whatever you can and but do get yourself a nice magnifying mirror for a good makeup job so after you've got all all of that you should also put your head back and get a, a nice band for your hair so it's just is not sitting there on your face and pull your hair back you can see the contours on your face and you can see what you need to do what uh, you know blend your foundation really well get your blush really well then if you have hair it becomes a big old mess so I wouldn't um, I wouldn't do that <laughs> so the other thing is the um, the brushes that I'm going to talk about so I on my blog I talked about these very inexpensive brushes that you can get at the drugstore and here they are they are from Echo Tool uh, this is the foundation brush which I love I know you can't feel it but it's just so nice and soft it really gets into the little corners and blends your foundation really well I usually blend the foundation with my fingers as you've seen before and then I go over with the brush if I have any any things to you know like around the corners the brush gets in better then there's this one which you can be used for your eyeshadow instead so you can apply it there and you can blend really well it has a little pointy pointy thing so it's also good to use underneath here uh, then we have the eyebrow brush or the eyeliner brush I use them for both they're nice and soft so you can create a nice eyeliner there and you can also if you're using a powder eyeshadow for your eyebrows is also a good one to apply it with then the final uh, eyebrow brush is this one is a comb and a brush and so you comb your eyebrows and you brush your eyebrows and you can also comb your lashes if you need to uh, it's a good tool to have there's many of them out there this is one of them Mac has wonderful brushes and I use most of them um, and what the ones I've chosen to show you is the ones that are blenders so they help to blend your eyeshadow and uh, make sure there's no harsh lines so this is a good one and then that's that one that's a 217 and a 224 uh, they would blend the brushes for your eyeshadows and uh, the same type of brush before for your eyeliner and then this one for eyeshadow to blend and to deposit the color on your eyelid that's a very good one then the luscious big fluffy fluffy brush that we all like to use for our uh, bronzers or for the powder it just gives you a nice feeling so that's a good one too and this is a little one that I got at the actually a friend of mine gave it to me from a drugstore or from an art store not a drugstore from an art store and I use it with my cream blushes and I kind of just do that and then do this kind of thing and just enhances my cheeks and gives me a little glow and I, I like that so that's a nice tool if you find them in an art stores um, they sort of around you see that and uh, it's hard to find I haven't found them in Vancouver but I think this came from New York they're very soft and they're good for that purpose we in the makeup world we also use them for stippling and doing other things but for an everyday makeup um, that's what I use them for from the blush so then we're gonna go for uh, the eyebrows and the eyelashes so the tools for the eyebrows and the eyelashes would be your tweezers and your scissors I have the nose hair scissors that I like to use for trimming any 
excess hair on my eyebrows. I don't like anything pointed around my eyes, so I use these ones. It's got the rounded edges, as you can see. So that's the ones that I prefer to use. Um, this is another tool that it's handy, but I always caution people using this. It's like scissors over comb, and you just get the hair and then you trim them. But you have to be very careful and don't lay it on top of your bone. You just be distant. Just comb the hair and then pull it and just trim the very last bit of the hair because otherwise you're going to cut more hair than you wish. So it's a handy tool, but you need to be cautious and you need to know how to use it. So because I'm sure you've seen it they're everywhere and you've been wondering oh I wonder what I'll do with that and uh, that's what you do but if you're not careful you're gonna cut all your eyebrows off so just be careful with that and oh I want to show you the tweezers the tweezers mounted they're the best they're slanted they're very good to use I like I prefer those and then the I'm eyelash curler which I know some people are afraid of but they're easy to use and a trick I do with my actors whenever someone has very pointed lashes and I need to curl them and they're hard to curl I soak these in warm water just for a minute or two and so it's nice and soft and then and warm and then I make sure they just warm not hot and I test it and if it feels good then I just use it on their lashes look down place it on your eyelid and then just gently close in press and release and remove so easy to use gently does it you've got your magnifying mirror so it's no no reason why you can't do a good job with that um, then I'm sure you were wondering about sponges what do you do with sponges well there's a, a couple of different kinds of sponges the, the latest one and the one that everyone's talking about the, the makeup artists love is the beauty blender it's an expensive sponge but there are many brands like everything else everyone is making these kind of beauty blenders and they are less expensive than the original ones so you might want to look around and see what you find uh, they really great you know they really blend well and I roll them around here and they get in the corner there and they go in the corner here and it just gives you you know when you're doing your makeup it really assures you that everything is well blended into the skin and has a very beautiful smooth finish so I like to use it I wet it a little bit this one is dry it's just because I have makeup on now but I just wet it a little bit and when you wash it if you wash it with um, you know like a soft liquid um, soap liquid or liquid soap <laughs> Uh, just make sure you rinse it really, really, really well because otherwise you're going to have soap and the sponge is not going to last you very long if you don't rinse it well. So it's really important to squeeze every single bit of soap out of it. The other sponge that's very good is this one. It's a latex sponge and you can, um, again, wet it, soften it and, and then use it around here. I use it for a lot for powder on set on my actors or any anti-shine. I use it for that. Um, but you can apply makeup, but like I said, make sure you wet it and make sure it's soft when you use it on your skin. Otherwise, you're going to leave lines on your face because it's a, it's got this rigid lights line. So, you know, wet it a little bit. So I think that's probably, oh, there's one more thing that I want, or two more things I want to talk about. One of them is the Q-tip. Uh, it's a nice handy tool to make sure that you clean around your eyes and inside so it's a really good tool to have um, this typical q-tips is a makeup q-tip and also when you buy your pencil sharpener make sure you get two sizes make sure you get the large size opening and the small one for your lip pencils and eyebrow pencils and for your highlighters and eyebrow pencils which is this kind of size so always buy two buy one which has two sizes and probably that closes in between so you can um, save your shavings in there so you don't spill it all over the place and that's sort of the tricks for now there's just the things that i think you probably would enjoy um knowing about and i hope i was helpful to you and i hope you've learned something today thank you